For what purpose does the subconscious mind serve us? In this video, you're gonna be understanding about how the subconscious mind works, how you can utilize the subconscious mind, and what you can do in order to change your life by just using the subconscious mind alone. To another video, I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. Now, I haven't been posting much content on YouTube recently and that's for a very, very good reason. I will get into the subconscious mind in just a second, but I'm actually posting some new style of content in 2020 in January. So, look forward to that, I look forward to it, I know it's going to be fun and it's just going to have a lot of wisdoms, a lot of lessons that I've learned personally through myself and I want to spread that with you and portray it in a different way rather than just talking to the camera. But I thought I'd do a video today, I decided to, thought about it, understand the subconscious mind and how it can benefit your life. Now the subconscious mind has, obviously we have two minds, the conscious and the subconscious. And the subconscious mind is a very technical piece of equipment and that's how you've got to treat it. You can't just treat it as it's just a subconscious mind because it runs 95% of your life. If you do not use a subconscious mind correctly, you're going to run 95% of your life in the wrong way. If you are constantly listening to people tell you how rubbish you are, if you're constantly listening to music that is telling you that you are worthless, if you're constantly listening to people you're reading things and you just don't believe in yourself, that is what you are going to manifest. Now, science is backing spirituality a lot now and I understood the spirituality side of it before the science side of it sort of came into play and I like the fact that science is now backing it because it's allowing everyone to understand it because a lot of people initially needed to see it to believe it but obviously if you understand law of attraction if you understand manifestation spirituality you need to believe it in order to see it and that's how it happens now what you do is you move from who you are you step outside of that and become the person that you want to be so it is literally like for example if you say I want to manifest a million pounds my personal opinion, I would say start a bit smaller if you're nowhere near that number. So, say for example for myself, let's say I want to manifest £5,000 a month. I would have to say to myself, and this is what I'm doing right now, what do I need to do, who do I need to become, how do I need to act, what goals do I need to have in order to reach this goal myself. Now it doesn't just happen overnight, you have to slowly take steps to become that person. You can't just say I want this and then not do anything. Because as soon as you start saying it, your subconscious mind is looking to either confirm or deny. Now, if your subconscious mind is confirming everything that's going on outside of you, this is where it will be very, very beneficial for you because you'll be saying, I want this to happen. Oh, here's an opportunity. Oh, here's a new person that can help me get further on in my journey. Do you see what I'm saying? So when you utilize the subconscious mind, you can use it to your best advantage, which will help you improve your life. Now the subconscious mind works by repetition. That is one of the easiest things you can do in order to reprogram subconscious mind. So there's, there's a few different ways, I'll, I'll go through them, but we'll start with repetition. Now, obviously repetition is something that we all do. How do you learn to tie your shoelaces? How do you learn the alphabet? How do you learn how to drive a car? You don't just get in once, get in the car once and do it first time. You don't tie your shoelaces once and they're perfect. You have to try, fail, try, fail, try, slightly succeed, try, succeed, try, succeed, and you get better over time and then it becomes a habit. When you are doing it automatically, that is habitual. So for example, you do not, and I guarantee you, you do not get in your car and you think about driving. You don't think about pulling down the handbrake. You don't think about putting your foot on the clutch, putting it into first gear, putting your foot on the accelerator, slowly lifting off the clutch, look in every mirror, see obviously your seatbelt's on. You don't think about that, you just do it because you are a driver. And this is what Joe Dispenza says. You can go from thinking to doing to being. Now, if you can straight away take out that middle step and just go from thinking to being, you're going to speed up your process. Now, I believe in the process. I truly believe in the process. If I would have been as successful as I want to be four years ago, I genuinely would have killed myself. I was in a really bad place. I was very anxious, very depressed. I was on a lot of drugs and I wasn't in a good place. So I wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been a good idea for me to do that. Although at the time I thought that was the rest the best idea for me. I was like, this will be perfect. That's what I need in order to succeed, in order to be happy. Now I understand that the process is essential and you need it in order to improve your life. You don't, and the process is learning to drive the car. The process is learning to do the alphabet. The process is learning to become a business owner. Now, I don't believe that you can just go from 
not understanding anything in business to the next day understanding everything in business because you've got to fail you've got to understand you've got to learn some hard lessons you've got to learn some small lessons you've got to learn along the way so let's start with repetition obviously repetition is something that we can all do you can do it i can do it posting a video it i didn't understand how to make videos on youtube at all i did not have a clue so repetition is key obviously when you can repeat something over and over again you learn it and it just gets stuck in your head and it literally is like you've got let's say for example let's use this metaphor you've got drawers in your head now let's go back to the completely old, or even let's go to a new, let's go to a new age, something that's more relatable. You've got a file system in your, you've got a folder, new file system. You open each folder. Now let's say for example, you open the driving the car folder. You don't have to think about, I need to put my seatbelt on, you just do it. It's part, it's part of driving a car. But initially you have to learn that. Initially when you start doing the alphabet, it's A, B, C, D, oh, what is it, what is it, what is it, E. E, okay, perfect. A, B, C, D, E, F. And then you go back to the start and you do it again. You have to fail in order to succeed. You have to start. You just have to start. That's just the biggest key. So understand that the more you repeat something, the, the longer it gets lodged in your brain. Now, that's not the only way. And in my opinion, it's not the easiest way. It's the easiest way if you do it with your, on your own. Now, there's many different, loads of different techniques that I use personally in order to reprogram my subconscious mind, like self-hypnosis. There's loads of neuro-linguistic programming techniques, and they do it in a matter of seconds. When it's something that you have maybe a feeling, when you do these techniques, when you start to feel, let's say, anxiety, for, exa for example, because this is what I deal with a lot. If you have got anxiety, we do these techniques with you, and then what happens is when you start to feel this anxiety, maybe it's your chest, maybe it's your head, maybe it's your stomach, I help you remind yourself of things that make you smile. I help you remind yourself of things that make you empowered, make you feel confident so that the connections are there. Every single time that comes up, it will remind you, I need to feel confident. I need to, I need to, I, I need to remember this song that makes me happy, for example. And they're really just very simple techniques that we use in order to reprogram the subconscious mind in a very fast way. Now, like I said, this you do not have to do it this way. And 100%, I agree, you don't. I initially didn't start off. I started off doing it by myself. But when I started to do it with other people, that's when my process started to expand a lot faster, and I started to understand more. And just it just happened a lot quicker because you're learning from experience. And also, if you're doing it wrong, you're being told you're doing it wrong and this is where you have to learn to be coachable because sometimes well all the time we don't know everything and yet we don't know anything compared to what we think we know and that's my biggest opinion and my belief and I don't know how, how much you believe in that but we do not know anything compared to what we what we should be able to know for example the universe our space even underwater we only know five percent of underwater of the creatures but we've only explored five percent of the ocean so imagine what's out there in the universe so Use repetition as a huge and easy and simple key in order to improve your life. So another simple and easy step you can do to reprogram the subconscious mind is to get around people who are where you want to be or are who, who you like to be. So for example, greatest example ever, if you want to be a millionaire, spend time with 10 millionaires. You do that for two years, I can guarantee you you will at least be on your way to being a millionaire. And I guarantee you that. That's just a fact. Now, obviously, it's not easy to get in contact with them if you've never been in contact with them. Like myself, I did not know anyone who owned a successful business. I did not anyone know who, anyone who owned a proper business, not someone who is self-employed to their business. That's different. That's something I'll get into another day. But when you are around those people, you start to pick up on what they're talking about. You start to get involved with their conversations and you start to become that person. And again, it's about thinking to being being that person, becoming that person. You are the person that gets up at 5 a.m. For example, when I first meditated, I did not want to wake up early and meditate. I didn't want to do it. It wasn't sustainable. I started off small. I started meditating in the mornings, but I didn't wake up ridiculously early. I didn't meditate for an hour. I meditated for five minutes. I started small. I repeated it over days, over years, and eventually now I do it every single day, twice a day. And it's not just me thinking, am I going to meditate this morning? When I wake up, I give, I give myself enough time. Now, I don't wake up late so that I have to rush it. I give myself enough time so that I can meditate. Because for me, it's a treat. I love to do it and it really helps me and has completely changed my life. So if you can wake yourself up and meditate without thinking about it, you are a meditator. 
you are not meditating. You just be have become someone who meditates. You are that person. You are being a meditator. So if you've liked today's video and you feel like you could benefit from subconscious reprogramming, please do send me a message. If you want some book recommendations, I'll be happy enough to give you some book recommendations. I love books. One of my favorite is uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. That's a very good eye opener in regard to thinking about success. Now, obviously my journey started with wanting to be hugely successful and I'm not saying that's not part of my journey now, that will be part of my journey, that will always be part of my journey. But my priorities have changed in regards to what I want in life. But Think and Grow Rich is a very good book to help you understand the power of desire, understand the power of repetition, understand the power of, there's different things, so for example you can play subconscious reprogramming tapes before you go to sleep, now you're jumping in and out of theta all the time. So we are very, very intuitive beings, we are such, such intuitive beings, and we can dip in and out of brainwaves when we choose. Now I've spoke about this on a video before and I will go into more detail in another video, not this one specifically, about brainwaves, about when you can best reprogram a subconscious mind, just so you can efficiently do it. But what I want you to do is I don't want you to worry about doing it at the best, I want you to make this a habit, I want you to do this every single day, start listening to positive affirmations, start listening to motivational videos, start finding groups of people who you want to be around that will enhance your life, not drag you back down. So I hope this video has given you some, some benefit. I hope this video has given you something of value. And like I said, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments. I'd love to answer your questions. But also if you have any book, you want any book recommendations, again, put it in the comments or send me a message on Instagram. I hope you liked today's video. I hope you look forward to the new content in the new year. I really want this to improve your life. I really want this to help improve my content on social media as well. Have an absolutely amazing day. Keep smiling, spreading love, spreading kindness, and spreading positivity.